Yo, how's it going guys, it's Jay. Today I'm going to be talking about Black Ops Cold War, from the alpha to sniping, playstyles, and overall thoughts. I've been playing Call of Duty since COD 3, and first person shooters my entire life. So let's start with a comparison to Modern Warfare, since I know this is a lot of people's first COD, or it brought them back to the franchise, myself included. The first two days of the beta were, in my opinion, phenomenal. Now this isn't to say that there weren't issues, and more on that later, but the closed beta was an entirely different experience from the partially open beta. I could tell that I was in lobbies with Treyarch fans. The gameplay was fast, nobody was camping, and they didn't complain when they got clipped on. However, the day it became free to play, I could literally see the Modern Warfare players. They sat in corners with shotguns, they couldn't get a streak, and got five totally limbs in a game of domination. And those were nade spam. The Modern Warfare kids don't know how to use a proper minimap, or the importance of pure gun skill, because Modern Warfare conditioned them to control areas of the map, air quotes, you know, camp like a little The movement definitely isn't as polished as it could be, but that's to be expected. One of the best quality of life improvements from Modern Warfare to this is the removal of mounting. <laughs> no more getting lasered by a kilo from across the map. And the spawn logic is just that. Logical. The flow is so much better than on the Modern Warfare maps, and it makes the game feel that much more enjoyable. This beta feels like a mix between Black Ops 4, Modern Warfare, and Battlefield 5 in a weird, but good way. The alpha didn't have its own identity like this does. So let's talk sniping, since that's what I like to do. The Pellington, or Remington if you don't care about stupid licensing issues, overall feels fine, but there's a glaring problem. In the alpha, we all know that sniping was god tier, and now it's just a hollow shell of what it once was. And the biggest problem is that I get hit markers in the shoulder. Now, that would be fine, I suppose, if Treyarch's definition of shoulder didn't include half of your pack. Red gunning, on the other hand, still feels great. The reloads aren't exactly snappy, but rest assured that red gunners can compete with the snipers. The gameplay in the background is on satellite, which was widely regarded as the best map in the alpha, and it really showcased how strong score streaks can be. The artillery strike is, uh, <laughs> a bit cheesy. And I hope they balance or straight up nerf it in some way. I really hope we get to see more streaks in the game. I'd absolutely love to see them implement Modern Warfare 3 strike package design. Because I hate score streaks, they just feel lame. Reward me for getting 15 kills with dogs, the LSAT, chopper gun, or something. Because right now, I can't, I don't feel rewarded for fragging out and getting a 2 or 3 KD every game. I'm excited to see a working play of the game mechanic, because I really miss that in Modern Warfare. And now... The moment you've all been waiting for. Skill-based matchmaking. I, I don't understand why Activision won't let the devs call their own shots on this one. Because the Call of Duty community as a whole hates SBMM. Go over and look at Tony Flame's Twitter. Or Treyarch's Twitter. Or it just It's all just full of people saying remove SBMM. That's all they're saying. They're saying this game could be the best COD in the past 10 years. The best COD since Modern Warfare 2. Black Ops 2, you know, these, these golden age games, and they won't do it. If you just add a ranked playlist, competitive search maybe, then you can remove or at least loosen up the SBMM, because right now, it's just too strict. I sweat until I'm losing weight to compete in some of these lobbies, and it's a beta. I understand Activision wants to project their newbies, but I promise you, the way to keep people playing isn't to baby them like that. I mean, they're not even trying to hide the SBMM anymore. Like, the lobbies are disbanded after every game. And that's just miserable. Do you remember back in the Modern Warfare 2 days? You know, the Black Ops 2 days? Back before, you know, Ghosts and Infinite Warfare ruined everything. We got bullied, bro. Like, straight up bullied. And I'm not just talking in the game. I mean, the the party chat, man. You ever play Search back on Modern Warfare 3? You know, people run the Akimbo 1887s? We were cheesing. And everybody was talking mad shit. And you know, if you weren't good, you got screamed at by your teammates and the enemies. It's just, we were indoctrinated in this culture of get good, scrub. And now, this new group of people, which is far smaller than, you know, the diehard fan base that's been playing for the past 12 years, is being babied. They don't get into lobbies with us. They don't get into lobbies with the people who 
who understand the ins and outs of the game, the people that really enjoy it for what it's meant to be. Alright, I've complained about that enough. We all know, skill-based matchmaking needs to be loosened up. Tweet at them, make some noise, just let's get that out of the way. On to the maps and the flow. Everyone's so excited when a new Treyarch game comes out, solely for the maps. Everybody loves these Treyarch maps. And I understand, three lane, they're colorful, they're nice, they flow good, cool. You never realize how bad the doors were in Modern Warfare until you play this. This map that I'm playing on, Satellite, it, it flows pretty well. You can see I'm over here on the dunes, I'm just kind of vibing out here, man. You know, there's a strong side and a weak side, but people just pick what they're more comfortable on. I hate that right side of the map over there, and like the canyons. That's just SMG City, and you know I'm out here just trying to level up so I can get creative class. This is the first day of the beta. It's just so nice not dealing with claymores and doorways, you know, and the door shut, you can't even see it, and then the guy's sitting in there with an origin just being a little rat. This game is so much closer to that core Call of Duty experience that we all know and love. You know, it brings back feelings of the good old days, that golden age. But there are a couple more things I'd love to say. I need them to bring back the party playlist from Black Ops 1. You know, Sticks and Stones, One in the Chamber, the original. That was awesome. That was so much fun. And it's a well-needed break if they're not going to get rid of the skill-based matchmaking. And last but not least, Black Ops 4 had an incredible sniper playlist. I really feel like they, they supported the sniper community. They let us chill out and have a good time. I would love to see that as well. And these, these are things that just really bring the game together and they provide a great experience for everybody that plays the game, you know? If you have made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. Thank you for listening to me ramble. If you're new here, please subscribe. And if you're not, drop a like and a comment, man. We gotta get my comments up. It's looking sad. I'm out here talking to myself. That's what I'm doing. You know, weekly Call of Duty videos. I've been playing a lot of Warzone, a lot of Search and Destroy. I still don't have any search clips up, but I promise you that's coming. I enjoyed the beta overall. It's not over yet. This is only the third day it's been out. But I'm enjoying it. I really hope that they can they can make this game a hit. Thanks, guys. Deuces.